Hi guys, welcome to the unboxing and quick review of this Van Long Sing Multiport USB charging station with 100 watts and 6 ports for USB fast charge, quick charge, PD and so on. Also supporting wireless charging and it's listed on Amazon for around $29. Uh, there are a couple of similar listings, so I think the internals are pretty much the same. Even from this manufacturer, get a couple of different uh, charging stations, but I think they are more or less the same internally. So don't expect any major change apart from maybe a little bit more or less power. And some of them are supporting wireless, some of them are not supporting wireless. So currently they run also a couple of uh, discounts. Sometimes you can get it for $20. So it's actually pretty cheap for what you get or supposed to get. So I'm going to take this out of the box and then you will see if this is a good thing or not and I can already tell you that it is well worth to watch this video because I have really important news if you are going or if you want to buy this device here we have some description on the box I think here a little bit more on the side it's important to know which device you are buying because they have really a couple of different things but mainly it's just the different power capacity different pd qc and wireless charge apart from that i think it's pretty much the same so on the pictures on amazon it was not looking too bad very promising i mean regarding the specs and also pictures and what you can do here's a free non-slip mat i don't know if we need that on top for the wireless charge yeah, here they have some card where they ask you for review but at least they have also some support email which is not bad here the description you can see the different models here so we have basic description of this device i think and then the different models what they can do and what they cannot do and so on product manual a little bit if you are interested into that and here's just other languages i think so here it is in the box uh, doesn't look too bad I mean we have some really nice non-slip on top not so much probably that's why they sent this thing so here we have QC we have normal 5 volt USB then PD and it comes with this power adapter pretty much standard thing which I love that means that the transformer is already built inside and the positive thing it would actually support worldwide uh, power from 100 to 240 volts which is really good so far the good things now let's plug it in and see if we get also some nice charging things with what i found is uh, that the display is really hard to read you have to almost bend down when you see this from here i mean this is a normal viewing angle i mean i have another uh, very similar charging device here and you can see here i mean it's also usually uh, background illuminated this is something which you can see easily i mean of course you have to plug it in and then you get some light but of course you have to uh, plug in something but it's much better you will see that later on I, i'll compare this a little bit but here you really have to bend down 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 and only then you can see it but we have uh, the amps and the voltage for every channel, I mean for every port, which is good. Some of these devices don't have this, they just have one display. And then when you have different uh, items plugged in, you have to cycle through the whole thing to find the real value. So that's good. What's a little bit missing here is the VATs. So there's no total watts described here. And I mean, we have total watts of uh, 100, 100 watts maximum. If you are over that or really close to that, you risk overheating, burn, explosion, whatever. Here it's much better. I mean, it's a little bit more limited. I think we have only 60 watts, but we have a total watts here on top. If you have just one device, you have the amps, the volts, 
and the VATs as well, as well as the total VATs. Here, if you have just plugged in something here, you don't see the VATs. You have to do your own calculation. I mean, you can do that, but it's not the same. Then, first problem here with the wireless charge. I'll put this on top. I go a little bit down as the camera. So we are here now. I mean, of course, this phone uh, has a little bit of a problem. It's not the easiest phone. Yeah, I'll go a little bit back. Maybe you can understand me better. This is not the easiest phone to charge, of course. I was a little bit out of focus, but I hope you can still see that. Sometimes we have to go a little bit off center, something like that, and you can see uh, now it starts charging, but it's it's sometimes very very difficult. Sometimes it starts charging a little bit sooner, sometimes a little bit later. And I've seen that sometimes when I put this on top, it really takes long long time till it's charging. I mean, usually it works when you know where to put it. And then you have the watts here. I hope you can see that it's showing eight point seven watts. That's in the middle, something like that. So put this on the side so wireless charge seems to work but it's a little bit difficult sometimes where to put now what's really really bad is the real charging normal charging with let's say micro usb i'll plug this thing here in and here i have a camera and now i hope i can show you that so I hope you can see that now what's uh, showing. You can see the different amps here where I have plugged it in. It jumps around like crazy. It sometimes shows up to 0 0.9. Sometimes it goes down to 0 0.1, 0 0.2. Now that's not even the craziest thing. I have seen it much worse, but you can see it's jumping around. It's going all over the place. You think, okay, yeah, maybe this is technically needed and i mean when we compare this yeah, I go a little bit, zoom a little bit out so you can see that better. When I use the other device, the old one, which I'm using, usually you can see it's a steady 0 0.6 nothing else than that it's not jumping up and down it's just a steady 0 0.6 but now you could think okay maybe it, it's just a difference uh, between this thing which is more stable and this is not stable and it is really jumping up and down and now here i have another device where i can show you how this works and i hope you can see now both at the same time so you can see it, that here it's always in the 0 0.4 area here it's still jumping up and down like crazy 0 0.4 0 0.5 6 7 sometimes even above one amp or sometimes almost close to 0 0.1 down and you can see here it's always stable so it's not a problem with the charge actually the charge is pretty stable it is just a problem with this display or with the USB meter which is showing some crazy numbers and uh, you don't want to have to deal with this if you don't know how fast it's really charging it's almost impossible to find out how fast it's charging and when we are just using this thing it's not showing any vats I mean yeah for me that definitely doesn't work so I'm absolutely not happy with this thing and I've decided to still go with this thing this doesn't have any fast charge but I mean it's not big difference I mean fast charge here and also PD quick charge everything I mean it's nice to see it charging with higher voltage uh, 9 volts 12 volts but don't expect much for faster charge it's just charging with up to 18 watts here we can also get 18 watts it's just charging with uh, 5 volts uh, it also can go up to 3 I think 3 3.5 amps or so and then we have also around 18 watts or so uh, I think in in total there's no no big difference apart that we have here the specific pd and qc and uh, here we have much better display we have much more solid stable information so for me that's the one to go here and i'll put down the link to this one here down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and definitely stay away from this thing here and hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments or maybe you have found something better than that
that and just let us know down in the feedback area. I'm always happy to talk about these things and learn new stuff. And uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.